YouTube Gamer Dad here. Um, this will be our fifth video in the 2D Space Shooter tutorial series in XNA 4.0. Uh, like I mentioned in our last video, this will be dealing with the asteroid class. So, like I mentioned too, we're going to have uh, enemy spaceships and we're going to have asteroids and maybe some other cool stuff if we think of it along the way. So, um, with that, let's get started right away. Um, we're going to go ahead and create a new class. So, right click your project. Uh, add a class. We're just going to call this Asteroid. Make sure your class is selected up here and add it. Uh, same thing, like I mentioned every video, it does not add the XNA using statements for you, so let's just go to the player.cs, uh, copy the XNA frameworks from there, and back to our Asteroid class and paste them. I'm um, going to make this a public class and start off with our variables. So we're going to have uh, a little bit more variables than than the other classes because I'm going to add all the collision stuff to this class right away and then maybe in the next video we can um, add our collision steps for our player class so that we can make the uh, asteroids collide with the spaceship. So um, start it out like we normally do with a public um, texture 2D and we're just going to call that texture a public vector 2 we're going to call a position. You guys should uh, get get this by now. We pretty much do this in every class. Um, we're gonna. This is a new one. We're gonna create another public vector too. Um, we're gonna call that origin. This is gonna be. Uh, it's gonna find the center of our sprite, so we'll know what to rotate around because we're gonna have our asteroids uh, coming down and spinning at the same time, so it gives it uh, a cool effect. Uh, the next one will be a public float. We're going to call that rotation angle. Uh, that also has to do with the rotation uh, of the sprite. Um, a public int speed, like normal. And then uh, two public bools. Uh, one is going to be is colliding, and the other one is going to be destroyed so that we can uh, call true or false on destroyed um, and, and not display the sprite anymore if it does collide with the ship. Alright, and that will be it for our variables in the asteroid class. Uh, let's move down to our constructor. So it's going to be just public and then asteroid. Uh, what we're going to add in our, like I said, uh, the constructors normally just set our variables above here um, to like a null um, value or, or zero or something like that, or default starting values that we want for them. So um, in this case, we are going to set the position to a, a, a certain position. It uh, can be anywhere on your screen, really, that you want to create as long as it's starting uh, above the top of the screen, like off of the screen. So what I came up with was position will equal a new vector 2 and uh, we're going to go 400 on the X axis and we're going to go negative 50 on the Y because the sprite um, in that sprite art ac assets package that you guys downloaded in the last couple of videos uh, that asteroid is I believe it's 45 by 45 so if we put it at negative 50 on the Y axis that'll put it above the screen above our viewing um, window uh, by 50 pixels so we won't be able to see the sprite when it starts out. Okay, um, we're going to set the texture to null, like we usually do. We will set uh, our speed, and we'll make it 4. I was testing it, and that seems like a decent speed for now. And we'll set is colliding and destroyed to false. Because it's not going to be colliding with anything when the game starts, and it's not going to be destroyed when the game starts, because we're just going to have it start out coming uh, from the top of the screen. Okay, and that'll be it for our constructor. Um, a as usual, our load content, so we can set the sprites um, for our uh, asteroids. So it's public void load content. And it's going to be content manager. Uh, we'll set our texture equal to content dot load um, texture 2d and uh, 
you know we'll just close this off right now and we'll go right over here if you already have your art assets download which you should by now uh, you can right click your content over here we're gonna add an existing item uh, we're gonna go to pictures uh, well in my case uh, just navigate to your folder that uh, has your graphics in it we're gonna select the asteroid and I just called the PNG asteroid so now that we have it in our content we can put it here okay and we're gonna set two more things in our load content uh, we're gonna set our um, the the uh, width and height for our origin um, variables so it's gonna be origin dot x will equal texture dot width divided by two and I'll explain this in a second dot y equals texture dot height divided by two so what this is doing and I mentioned the origin variable is just finding the center of our asteroid sprite so it's gonna take um, take the width of our te of our asteroid texture which is 45 and divide that by 2 and then it's going to take the height of our asteroid texture and divide that by 2 so if you picture a box and it divides it in half both ways it'll give you the origin or the center of your of your image okay so next is our update function public void update and it's um, game time kind of repeating ourselves here from the other classes. Um, so what we're going to do in this is, uh, uh, this will deal with collision here. We're going to set um, our bounding box for collision. So what, uh, actually, we're gonna, let's go back up to the top and, and by our variables here in the main, uh, we're going to create another public uh, variable and it's going to be a rectangle. We're just going to call that bounding box just like we did in our player class. Did we do that in our player class? Um, yes, we did. Uh, we set our collision variables here. Uh, just just because we, we were going to be doing it later anyway, so we just did it. So, um, all right, back down. 